the recording. It is recording. Hi, this is Death with Ellie and Eo and Crash doing part three of the Halloween one shot, which obviously is taking lots of shots to do one shot or something like that. Um, let's just jump into what happened last time. We met the Count, who is not Count Dooku because of this is the wrong uh, time by about 3,000 years. Well, it could be a previous Count Dooku. His character I think we're art... on the wrong planet for that. Yeah, well. His character art makes him look like Count Dracula. I actually I can't, can't remember his name, this... though. Count Murgod. Murgod. Also, Sen fixed a droid. I did. I did fix a droid. None of us has skill in droid repair, yet somehow Sen fixed a droid. And I was very reassuring. Hmm? You were, I think. We're not here to cause any trouble. We're just accountants. And we're not here for your tax. Right. So, shall we jump into things? Or is um, this container as it is already inside it? What are you containerizing? I'm trying to um, move gills. Okay, I know what you said. I decided I was trying to drop it in the same place. I know what you said, but what I got on my end is that you were trying to moo skills. So now, because of previous conversations, I am thinking, I'm imagining, to make the math easier, perfectly spherical skills. That oh, no. seems inconvenient. We've been nerfed. <laughs> oh. It's just one... In joke, lay it upon another. Perfectly spherical cows. Oh no, it's doubled. And... I mean, you round <laughs> things off to make them soft, like a Nerf gun, and also <laughs> Nerf herders. But if you make them s spheres within <laughs> spheres, we end up with like an Erlenmeyer flask or something. Not Erlenmeyer. What? What's the name of that flask that doesn't actually have any mass? Or volume, it just sort of wraps around itself. So it's inside as it's outside. That's an early. That's an early. There's the class. Klein? I did get the name right. What about I'm marking this damn my calendar? What are Klein bottles? But, no, Klein bottles. Yeah, Klein bottles are. Uh, they're either a subset or superset of Erlenmeyer flask. It was specifically a Klein bottle that I was thinking. The insides anyway, to the outsides. I love that. Oh no, we I are <laughs> less than five minutes into the recording before I took us on a tangent. <laughs> uh, so an Erlenmeyer flask just has is a flask with a flat bottom. A Klein bottle is a, an Erlenmeyer flask whose neck has been twisted around on itself. Anyway, so anyway, we're in the dining room and we've asked everyone place. to attend. Well, actually, you were, you were asked to attend. Or, uh, somebody was going to be setting the dishes, the plate. You were going to be to dinner, and then the count as apparently made a real entrance and done the welcome to my manor and crash you actually you, you just edited what you said right uh yes i edited it this what morning. did he say last time good i oh. i forget he welcomed <laughs> <laughs> that that was a whole morning ago crash, it's so And it happened right at the end. This is so... I, I remember saying I yes. found a gif of him, and it was a, a, a gif of a vampire saying good evening. It was actually a, a Dracula thing. Yeah. Um, but you were rehashing and or retconning what the Count said when he walked in. Close enough. He greets you all welcome to his manor he is delighted to have more guests he introduces himself yeah. you know i am count Murgod. welcome to my manor where god that's a randag and took in sand hills please let that be canon <laughs> that's a and took so would never do that accent <laughs> so you you've heard it here that's the southern accent is what Ellie will use for all non-canon interactions. <laughs> that is not what Ellie said, but I'm That's going the way to... you're going to interpret it. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
because sometimes knowing it's wrong makes it funnier. Um, I'm going to bow to Entuxa, not literally, but I'm going to let it. No one can hear me. My green room Correct. is not lighting up. Correct. Oh, now well, we can hear you now. Yes. <laughs> Renaming this session to Discord issue. <laughs> Hail Harris. Hello. Okay. Cannot. Okay. 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 Hello? Yes. Are we here? I hear you. Not. Do you hear It's not going on. Yes, I can hear okay. you. My room is away again. Um, so, let's try this for the third time. Very anticlimactic, I know. Sinone is just going to um, bow as properly as they can, which might not be um, quite right, but they, they've been trying, they've been learning. And yeah, then they're going to let Antuxa talk because this does not seem like the moment when the fallen Jedi who has no idea what's going on should be talking. Sorry, I'm being in the headspace, apparently. Mm. Oh, that's fair. My lord, it's so pleasant to make your acquaintance. My name is Antuxa. This is these are my associates, Randag and Senoni. And the name of the sphere that we represent has just fled my mind. Logistics. 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 And we represent the sphere of logistics on behalf of Darth Chardonnac. We're here seeking Darth Simond. You wouldn't happen to know where he is, would you? Oh, Darth Seamont. Ah. He hasn't been here for some time. I am the new master. Ah. He relinquished the field when faced with a superior personality. Begging your pardon, my lord. Are you saying that he's dead or that we need to go chase him down somewhere else to get his taxes such petty things bring you here that's us that that's that's the kind of sphere we work for it's not a petty amount it is a fairly unpetty amount my lord Ugh. If you find him about the place, I suppose you may accost him. But I have a more pressing thing for you three to be looking for. It wouldn't happen to be a strange lizard. We found one of those in front of the front door. No, no, those creatures are quite common. No, my necklace. It's gone missing. Perhaps Darth Simont had it last. Well, if you it's can a... describe the necklace, then we can certainly keep an eye out for it. You will know it when you see it, I imagine. But yes, it has four small gems upon it and is reasonably potent in the Force. Give me a perception roll, you people. Um, I'll try. Uh, Briefing on who's supposed to be here. The guests and the... Okay, that one. The other two guests who were in the room beyond and had not yet entered when he showed up have not been entering or, op or opening the doors. And a Mr... Well, Lieutenant... I, let's see. No, let's see. Mr. Depar is looking absolutely face frozen <clears throat> he, he looks sort of like what is this and and what is it done with the count and also when is it going to look? he would be catching away he described the next Did someone say something hold on that, that i blanked on in my you're down to one bar again. Make, have you made perception rolls? Or rather, I'm down to one bar again. Oops. Crash, and... what's going on? Well, I'm going to blame Discord because after I unmuted, down at the bottom, it said I was unmuted. 
but in the voice chat, it said I was muted for a good 10 seconds afterwards, and you responded to me. Ooh. So I know I wasn't, but I am down at one bar, and I probably sound like a Ooh. Cylon to all of you. No, no you, sound you sound fine. Okay, because right at the crucial moment where Beth is going over how everyone's reacting, that's when it started messing up. Like, the the person where it started becoming a problem was the person who's looking at the situation and saying, who is this and what have they done with the real count? Or something like that. Uh-huh. And they would be yep. backing away if they weren't frozen in place. Yep. Ah. Yeah. Rapsodipar, who was standing there because the count just sort of strode in while he was right there, would like to be edging away at warps at at hyper jump speeds, you can tell, but he's not. His face is frozen with this sort of fixed, slightly pleasant expression, and his eyes are, well, Senui can tell best, his eyes are screaming. The, the, smile, the smile doesn't reach his eyes. The smile does not even attempt to go towards the eyes. The smile would like mm-hmm. to retreat as well. The smile mm-hmm. would like to head for the floor. Mm-hmm. If someone could spontaneously develop teleportation in the force, Rapsodipar here would like to do it. <laughs> Unfortunately for him, he is not having a force breakthrough. The Count has just described the necklace, and did anyone have anything to say on that? The pendant. Not out loud, but... Well, we'll certainly, someone... we'll certainly keep an eye out for it. Although... The Lent. I confess, my expertise is not in finding artifacts. Didn't Considering... Iana Makad have a necklace? Oh, I'm sure she has many necklaces. I, I don't say she that out loud. She likes to show them off. Okay. I, I say that out right. loud. Everyone, that, erase that's, erase. Yeah, that's, that's my character, Out of character thinking. Didn't someone else talk about how they were missing a necklace? Yes. We're going to yes, find a her. lizard with like several expensive necklaces all wrapped around its tail, and that'll be the boss battle. I'll keep that in mind as an option. <laughs> Where is my green ring? Here is my green ring. We'll find a Please lizard with several expensive necklaces so and a green ring. <laughs> no. No green which, circles. Which means, it will, <laughs> which means it'll also be in the Discord channel, and we'll all hear it. Oh, no. <laughs> all right. Um... Sinone says, so, um, my lord, you said that you seem to think Darth Simot might still be around in the estate? Entirely. He certainly didn't get off world, now did he? Wouldn't know, my lord. Mm. What a helpful little creature you are. Very polite. I'm sure you'll all be quite efficient in finding my property. Oh, I am certain we will, although it may simply have slipped be- below a floorboard. It has. The, uh, you can dig them up, can't you? The property you've inherited isn't exactly in tip-top shape now, is it? Earlier we could see right through the corners of the walls. He laughs. <laughs> He laughs at the tip-top shape comment. He chortles. He does an absolute amused uh, reaction that the GM cannot possibly do justice to. He seems to find this absolutely hilarious. I am pleased to entertain. Yes, you're all very entertaining. I'm sure you'll be much more fun than... Everyone else here has been lately. They're all so dull. The parties have stopped. No one is playing cards anymore. There's no gambling. I'm sure that they'll be much more inclined to assist once I have recovered my property. Now, unless there are any pertinent questions... He pauses... Um, has anyone tried putting a watch on the kitchen, my lord? A watch on the kitchen? Well, if Darth Simon's still here, and if he's got the necklace, then he must be eating something, probably. 
Either that, or he is roasting vermin on his lightsaber. Ah. A good thought. Well done, child. And Tuxa, you're detecting disturbances in the forest. What sort of disturbances are you hoping for? Well, he said the necklace was strong in the force. I mm. am hoping that I can find something other than the waves of malevolence that we've been feeling recently. There's a lot of waves of malevolence, perhaps slightly flavored by a recent death somewhere, maybe. Then again, there's waves of malevolence and, and there's a lot of death flavor here and there if you taste it. And... No, no, we were told... There might be more waves of... We were told that all of that blood in the game room was from a nosebleed. A simple, harmless nosebleed caused by a slight... I'm sure it was all a big misunderstanding. That couldn't be a death. Oh, um... That card what? is still... Stuck How recent do back, we... isn't it? What was that, Ellie? How recent is recent death? It might just be a wave of the malevolence of the force carrying death flavor that just happened to hit you, or it might have happened just a few minutes ago. It's a little hard to tell. Yes, even with the Made by Five. Mm. I sense a disturbance in the force. Margad is perhaps, lifting his eyes. Perhaps the rest of you should enjoy your dinner while I investigate. Please do be free to explore all the public areas of my manor. I am sure you will not wish to trespass upon my own rooms. And speaking of, of which, course. I tire. I shall, I believe, go to those rooms. Tip, tip, tip. He sweeps out. You see the others standing absolutely still as he strides past them and up the stairs. Are they in the positions they were in when we left the room? Roughly, yes. Okay. They have not run away. Possibly, you, it's a little far to tell, but they seem to be standing with a very similar sort of expression as poor Ropsa, who, once the Count leaves, is basically slumping. Zanone is going to walk over and sort of examine him with a look of apparent curiosity. He looks back with the expression of someone who has just endured far too much to know quite what to say. Well, he's a character, isn't he? You look like someone just squeezed, squeezed you out like a dish rag. I feel like that. I hope he's actually gone for a while. Was he squeezing you out like a dish rack? Not physically this time. He'd have way more broken bones, I would think. Yeah. I meant metaphorically. <laughs> yes. He's not always that pleasant these days. How long has he been here again? Several months. Since... Since a bit before the the turn of the year, which is about four, five, six months ago, yeah. Did he have a necklace? Yes. Yes, he did. No, I don't know where it is. I would not think you did. I would have given it to him if we knew where it was. I would have. Do you know when... Mm. Do you know when it went missing? Yeah. Let me just make a little roll here. He is dithering on what he's going to say. Well, and Tuxa, whatever you were looking for, no, you didn't get that roll. I, I have moved off to the southeast and I'm searching the room. Ah, okay. Let's and see. not very well. I will tell you what that room is in a moment. Um, yeah, yeah, no, I'm sorry. I'm doing all this in the background. Sinoni's is the important conversation right now. Raps is clearly dithering, and um, as a GM, you would probably think 
<laughs> yes, Rand is having some of the dinner, right? I already had um, a bowl of soup. That was an appetizer. Indeed. Not sure if it's. I made my self control roll. You're so hungry, but you you know better to eat in strange things. Brapsil is acting like he needs some kind of push to talk. The you question know, is, what kind of push would Senoe want to do, or Ran? You know, they say you can tell a lot about a person by how they treat those beneath. <laughs> the Count keeps breaking the droid. Yeah. He might be strong in many ways, but I prefer my current. Unfortunately, your master is not here, I gather. Though Darth Simon was also of an equal rank, and I'm told that means something. <laughs> Don't break does. the droid. The new hit ga board game from Hutsbro. Not Hasbro, but Hutsbro. Hutsbro. The Brothers Hut. I think that makes it worse. Or better. Yes. Both. Doesn't it can be it? both. Both. Mm -hmm. It's like operational. You have to put the pieces in and in the right places. Mm -hmm. And you have to use the force. Well, that's how all the, the apprentices do it. I would simply use the force to turn the game off, and then I could put all the pieces in very quickly. Why'd you do it? I mean, the power switch is right there. Senoe. Do you want to pu be pushing on Rapsa, who is looking a bit... Like, he has something to say, but he's really not sure he should say it. When the last time the necklace was seen. You... Seem all right, all right. Let me make a guess, and you can tell me if it's right or wrong. Won't that be easier? Perhaps, uh, my lord, perhaps. You don't know where it went, but you think you saw who has it. Who is a broad statement? Yes, yes that's much closer. You think that when we find it, things will get worse for you? I don't know. I truly do not know. Perhaps he would let us all leave. Can all hope that. Look, we're not from laws and justice. Whatever's happening here might isn't entirely our wheelhouse, but if this count. Apparently a Darth, you say. It I suppose. Disappeared, Darth Simon. Then, well, we're the ones who are here to get to the bottom of the whole thing, aren't we? That appears to be the case. We certainly haven't had much luck. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go prepare a room for you. The droid. I'll, I'll see if the droid is is functional. Okay. Desk. Corner of room. has It has covered in papers, which it's like pages of flimsy, but it's even more fragile. Inkwells, wax, and other extremely low-tech writing implements that honestly, Antuxa, you have only ever seen your parents futzing with when they're doing weird ritual stuff, and it probably involves, like, sand. You're fairly sure it involves sand. You did a search, which you missed. Ah, yes, you actually recognize all of this stuff. It's old stuff. This this stuff is made with like dead vegetable materials. That's what those those weird flimsies are. And they're very useful for absorbing ink in certain ways. And this is like ink that you you put it into the pen yourself and you draw with it it doesn't look like he's been doing rituals or maybe he has been there's a lot of little notes that actually work out um that was just a perception roll looking around right yeah the the um like i figure there's a difference between looking around the room and looking for something useful in the room Search is basically where you start going through everything very carefully, and perception just a perception is like just glancing around, yeah. Okay, so perception roll for the room, made it by four. Search, missed it by four. Okay, um, there's more stuff in the top drawer of the desk. 
some weird kind of blunt dagger or something and some more flimsies that have various words scribbled on them uh comments fragments of things in you know high sith etc and the bottom drawer in the desk is locked i have a door opener memo to self okay i'm going to continue north into six and we can go back to senoni and ron Okay. In the other room, uh, Anna McCad- McCad has come in and going, Oh my, the Count is in such a fascinating mood, isn't he? Do Something say he's stealing all the necklaces, huh? Well, yes. I mean, he only wants it back so he can give it to me, obviously. It's so spark, it sparkles, it glitters. It's absolutely a delight. So it's the same necklace. Oh, I'm sure it is. Can you describe the one you lost? Well, it's got the the four glittering gems. They're set in this... Oh, I think it may be platinum. I'm really not sure. I don't know metals that well. And it's on a chain, of course. And it's very, very finely wrought. It has all sorts of little curls and intricate designs around the gems. It's quite glorious. I'm sure he wants to give it back to me. So you've never seen him wearing it? Oh, oh yes, of course he's worn it a time or two. But he gave it to you. Of course. Think, think. But then I suppose well, your species might not understand. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say who wouldn't give it to such a lovely a woman, but you Maybe know, you I think I see why not. <laughs> oh, come now. Don't be like that. I Really? Of course someone would give things to me. People give things to me all the time. It really just needs I'm to be sure. Found. It just needs to be found. Everything will be fine once it's found, I'm sure. Commander Damas is behind her and is just looking kind of tired. I mean, mood. <laughs> Ran is already tired of her. Yeah, or tired of Mergat, or tired. <laughs> yeah, I, I was thinking of things I'd like to give her: a, a headache, um, various common colds, particularly <laughs> ones that make biotics. you lose your voice. That'd definitely be biotics. <laughs> That's a sphere of biotics. Back to Antuxa. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Go. go, go ahead. Go back to Antuxa. Okay, this will probably be quick. You are in room. This is, well, it's a titled hearth room here. There's a great big fireplace there. It's, you know, grand white marble, and it's putting out a lot of heat. And it's, those are probably holographic flames. Probably. It's got a mantle on it with a green vase that has some extremely wilted flowers and there's a large Nexu skin sofa sitting up- upon an ornate, some kind of, of ancient, as would befit someone with mysteries, design that looks vaguely like it's got ritual stuff woven into it. There's a weird macabre, macabre disc dis- decorative thing, bas relief of a skeletal nexu cemented in place over the fireplace. Oil paintings of various Siths wearing clothes, at least one of them looks like they're fairly Darthy, line the walls. One of them looks a bit like the hollow of Darth Simont. There's other chairs and lounges around and bookshelves. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to poke my nose into five to confirm hey. mm-hmm. that it's a little room with stairs going down. Yep, it's a little landing. There's stairs going down. There's a little bucket next to the stairs. It's very, okay. it's painted, you know, sort of plain gray on the walls and ceiling. Well, I am not going to be so cruel as to split the party by splitting, the, by going to a different map. So okay. instead, I'm going back to eight. Okay. I really Back good to the dining no, room. Senoe, you were going to talk to the, the uh, commander 
Damus retired. Commander, I hope that you're uh, willing to be helpful to an apprentice instead of treating them like an exotic pet. I would never treat an apprentice like an exotic pet, my lord. I was in a levy. Right. See, you've got some kind of sense. Of course, my lord. What do you know about this necklace? Um, it's a necklace. It's quite expensive looking. Um, sort do of. Do you old... remember? No, no, go on. Uh, no, no, that, it, it's expensive looking and a, a style that's. Uh, I don't think it was in fashion at the time that I was last in a, a, a population. Do you remember when the Count last wore it? Um, he watches as Iana wanders off into the room with the Nexu Hyde sofa <clears throat> and drops his voice and says, the Count has always been wearing it until... Um, he wasn't. And how long ago is wasn't, do you know? A few months. A few months. Is a few months when we were told uh, Simon disappeared, or was that more recent? A few months was said, but that does have a fair amount of flex. Was this around the time Simon went missing? Oh, I don't know. Probably. Uh, maybe a bit before. Thank you. You have certainly been more helpful than anyone else who has been in this room in the last few minutes. Um, thank hey. you, my lord. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you want to help me interview these people, then that estimation might go up. I mean, it's fair. It's a fair assessment. But you still don't have to say it out loud. <laughs> he is sidling away from the arguing Sith. Sidle, sidle. And Tuxa, uh, I see that you can't tolerate that woman either. She is, let's say, of a type. One which, one with which I am unfortunately familiar. <clears throat> Commander Damas, did the Darth have another retreat on this planet? My knowledge, my lord. I mean, it's uh, the fact that he had the manor built at all was extremely eccentric. And I mean, I suppose there's his ship or the storage storage building. But no, no, not another retreat. Not not anywhere built on the planet. If if he had anything, it would have been around here. Understood. Gone poking over the grounds. They're a bit marshy. Might bring some, oh, I don't know, some hunting beasts around, but they'd have to be extremely good at hunting to deal with those Nexu fish out there. I don't suppose you do hunting. Mm. I never was a big fan. Uh, pity. Some good accounts might do, you do something. What do need hunted? Well, all the Nexu fish, for one. They getting keep getting onto the grounds these days. It's such a nuisance. They don't taste Those good. Those lizards. Um, yes, I suppose. They have a lot of... They have a lot of teeth, and they have those fins that they use for walking around, so they're like fish, but they're Nexu. And fish Nexu just doesn't sound right, so it's a Nexu fish. And people keep hanging signs around their neck. I'm really not sure how those get there. I'm told... The the answer is Anil. Right. Yes, her. She might do it. She's was Simon's old rancor. Do you Suppose know where she, she is now? Up in her room, probably. Surprised she didn't come out when we were talking up there earlier, but she might have been taking a nap. Well, under the circumstances, I can't really blame her. No, there's not that much to do these days. The comm's been cut. Otherwise, I'd be ordering myself some 
uh, hunting egg counts. Aww. Is this one of those? Is this one of those skills where I can spend fatigue to? What are you trying to do? I mean, it's a fast talk, but what sort of fast talking are you trying to do? Well, first, I need to. Re I need. To, I need to remember the description of. Well, actually, we probably wouldn't have a description, would we? Of the dismembered body we found in the storage room. Right, you found a head. You found we a could, head that had been... Hmm? We could describe the smell. It was a head. It was a humanoid head. Hu human or near human. Probably not a pure blood head. Um, and it With had something carved a into the forehead. design on it. Yep, had a design on it. Oh, actually, that is something I can do without using fast talk. Um, is there something to write on that isn't one of those weird vegetable things? Flat. They're like flimsies. They're... There were some flimsy pieces of paper and... Sorry, pe there's some pieces of flimsy in I'm the... I'm being uh, in character. <laughs> yes, in character. Oh, to chill. Um, there's... Uh, I'm sure that the Dar Simon had something to write on. Vegetables? Oh, yes, in the desk in the next room. There were strange vegetable flimsies. I, I'd rather not oh, the... touch them. I have uh, a way with things. Especially oh. things that have been hurt in some way. Oh, oh, um, well, I don't know if the vegetables were hurt or not. I, um, here, I'll go see what might be. He will vanish into the study, rummage around a bit, come out with a flimsy that doesn't have writing on both sides anyway. Here, what's this? You need a... I'm he hands over gonna, a stylus as well. I'm going to sketch out the design that I saw. Okay, let me see if I can just drag that up for everyone's amusement. Way oh. back in the back scroll. Way back in the back scroll. Yeah, well, I'm going to see if I can. There we are. This one. Yep, you found it. In that case, I will not post my version. Yes, the little sort of serpentine thing with an arm and an idiosyncratic notation of Sith word on it. Grothu. You people read these. can read that. You can decipher it. It's very, very idiosyncratic. It's missing some of the guidelines, but well. Okay, you have sketched this. The commander looks at it. Uh, that doesn't... I'm not sure that rings any bells for me, my lord. I'm sorry. Well, someone wearing that marking was uh, disposed of. Wearing it, my lord? Wearing... wearing is a generous way to put it. It was carved into their skull. Under the skin, my lord? The player doesn't remember. Yes. There wasn't much... <laughs> there wasn't any skin there, so yeah. What little skin there was. Yes. Um, a head you say a, a, a body um there were pieces of a body we assume they were pieces um, of the body they were very far gone they were a bit slimy and the uh, smell um i still smell it and yet you are no. eating i'm trying <laughs> to get the spices to get rid of the smell <laughs> It's a perfectly reasonable tactic. I've protected it. I've partaken it in it myself, although not today. I can't imagine what it would have been. Perhaps it was some some head that the that that Darth Simon had ordered, and I don't know. Yeah, you just order a head off. Thank of you so space much, Etsy. Darth Mystery. Some <laughs> Spetsy. <laughs> I mean, mysteries might. <laughs> well, you, you go to Ed, you go to Spetsy for the bespoke severed heads. If if you're just mm -hmm. ordering a bunch of them, you go to Space Amazon, Spamazon, which is <laughs> still kind of accurate. And if you don't no, care about don't. the brand, then you can go to Spali Baba. Sorry. Well, someone I'm apparently sorry, cared yeah. about that brand very much. <laughs> mm. And we're back around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
yes, well done, well done. Well, I suppose he might have ordered the whoever it was, but I admit it seems a little bit weird to torture somebody to death and then dump them down a drain if you're going to do weird mysteries things with them. I have no idea, my lord. I was in the levee, but I do not understand the rituals, and I just leave that to the Darth. Where is that wretched servant ought to be around here somewhere? I'm going to go find him. If you if you will excuse me, my lords. Oh, of course. He will run off and go look up the stairs. <laughs> and Everyone we've been playing about an hour's Everyone keeps excusing themselves from talking to us. We've been playing for about an hour. Should we take a break? I'm in favor of that. I'm going to press a button. Okay. Yes, let's do that. Button, button. The button and has been pressed. <laughs> All right. Everyone has excused themselves. There's no excuse for me. You three are alone in the di grand dining hall that has seats for like oh, six, eight, ten, twelve. Oh, Sen, darling, in the room to the southeast, there is a desk with a bottom drawer that's locked. When you have a moment, would you work your magic on it, please? And I am lowering, lowering my voice for this. <clears throat> um, sure, but just in case, I'm going to grab Ran. Whoop, okay. Ran goes flying over the table. Yoink! <laughs> <laughs> Why does every character I make get force lifted? <laughs> oh wait, I've got telekinesis <laughs> self. I could force lift myself. General, I... weirdly enough, that only tends to work when you are also like jumping around and or do slow fall. For some reason, most force users do not levitate themselves, or it's like I am meditating and just sort of floating slightly in midair. I can actually not enter the room. It tells me that the door is a wall. If the GM could drag my character to the... There we go. Thank you. I just uh -oh. did the Why player equivalent the of li raising my hands up to the GM going, Uppies. <laughs> I don't know why it's telling you the door is a wall. It's clearly a jar. I don't want to go inside a jar. I still can't go through so, the door. So, um... <laughs> I'm about to try to of, do something. What kind of lock is to this? It appears to be a mechanical lock bolts. It looks like the kind of lock I yeah, could I melt no with a lightsaber. Yeah, I have no idea what to do with this. I have an idea. No, no, no! I thought you, I thought you were good at picking. Actually, let me check my skill set. Or opening lock things anyway. Um. Well, I do have a skill in forced entry, which is in fact separate from your lightsaber skill. I mean, I you think I aware... could use them both. But I think the idea you here could is... Use them both. We're not trying to show that we've damaged it. We're trying to sneak... Jokes from Forced the... entry is what you use when you don't want to set anything on fire with your lightsaber. So I don't Normally use forced use... entry ever. Okay. I um, mean, you do, but not when you're being sneaky or... Well, you, you It do depends it on the forms. When you don't want to set things on fire. Yeah, it dep depends okay. on if there are, like, flimsies in some place and you don't want to ignite them. That would be bad. I mean, that makes sense. And you, you were saying normally I would use something like computer hacking, but this is a mechanical lock. Yeah. Normally so... you would use electronic uh, operation hacking. Well, I've, or I've got that. that. Is so... generally what gets you in. Yeah, so you let me roll that, that for the mechanical unfortunately, lock? Unfortunately, it's not an electronic lock. Hmm. No, unfortunately, that's for electrical locks. So you're kind of looking at, well... You could find something and sort of slide it into the thing and go crunch. And that leaves a paper trail, though, metaphorically. Or a splinter trail. Which would probably end up being literally later. Um, hmm. Question. And this is, I feel like this is a long shot. But let's see. Would uh -huh. I be able to use telekinesis other to turn the tumblers inside the lock. 
Not pushing them past the breaking Did point, you but pushing would. them in the direction where they... Yes, you could do that. Be it will let me just check your skill set here. Telekinesis um, other is will minus two, and for me that's Telekinesis other and forced entry together. If you can, can if if you succeed on both of those, then let me just do a quick double check on somebody here. If you do. If you make this on both of those, then that will probably get your... You will have forced the timers into the correct location enough. The lock may not actually work afterwards, yeah, but, but it won't look totally okay. trashed. But it, that's just it. On the outside, it'll look fine. And we can just blame it on somebody mm -hmm. else. The, the Darth that went missing clearly broke this lock because they were trying to mess with you before they left. They seem like the kind of person that would do that. Mm -hmm. All right, so harder roll first. Missed by Missed six. Missed by six. I am. You can just. You are not getting a good handle on those without. You know, you're trying to heal in the force. It's not working. I, I'm jiggling the Do handle, not the moving the tumbler. Maybe there's some kind of. Yeah. But somewhere, a it toilet rattles. has stopped flushing. Entirely be possible. Because I jiggled the handle. Entirely possible. Ellie, I got that reference. Perhaps the tumblers have been warded. Well, I'm having a bad day at this. It was worth a shot. I joke about burning hey, hey, it open hey. with a lightsaber, but the way I see the way mm. I see this. We were ordered to pull up the floorboards if necessary. Uh, yes, we were. But Let's see if there's something sitting in a more accessible way before we start peeling up. I'm not sure about the skill level of our friend the Count, but I prefer to not worry about that until we're back home. He told us to break truck if we needed to try to find the necklace. And Tuxa made a disturbing... Made by eight. Detection by eight, Yeah. You're fairly sure that there's something in the basement that is maybe the the center of this these waves of of disturbance, like uh, you know the the center of of the pinwheel. What you're looking for? That was what I was looking for, but also I apologize. I didn't mean to. I, I was expecting that to happen in the background. No, no, that's fine. They're discussing things. Yeah. And they, also, you feel like you got go down. Also, there was a, at least one crit roll in there, so the sound effect ended up in the recording, which is fantastic. I love that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and it, it showed up right as we finished a sentence, so the timing was good. Look, all I'm saying Sinone, is someone you're might know the key. Sinone. Yeah. Anyway, Sinone is... Oh, yeah, I saw that. Scrounging. Yeah. Yes. What are you saying? No, it showed up do? on my... What? Oh. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Sinoni is going to do what they were intending to do when I knew what they were going to do. And, um, well, Sinoni is, for reasons, somewhat skilled in, like, scrounging things up. And if Simon is still in the area, he's going to have to have been scrounging things up so i'm going i am trying to figure out where to look based on the things he'd need one of them is kitchen access and here's the kitchen one is well access to either a fresher or something connected to like give me a perception roll since you're wandering around. give me a perception roll you're at the top of the stairs down into the basement good at perception five. rolls okay that there's a little um bucket little metal bucket that's sitting at the top of the stair and it appears to be full of blood 
Oh, that's where they keep the blood. This is not what I expected. Buckets. This is not where I expected Buckets to be involved in this um, line of thought, but... When I hear people talk about buckets of blood, I always thought it was a, a saying, but it's literal? Apparently. Here's, it appears to still be kind of fresh, and you're not sure how long it's been there, but it looks like it's completely fresh. And honestly, that might be worth, even for Sith, kind of a fright check, because that's really unnatural, even for Sith stuff. We had a plus two. Oh, if that's Actually, a no. plus, plus two, I made by... Oh, if it's a plus three, three I made by eleven. You're fine with this. Sure, why not? This is, is it's normal for Sith stuff. This might as well happen. This might as well happen. Okay, you're fine. Bucket of Blood Tuesday is what we call it. Great. Are you getting I'm... close enough, Rand, to notice that it's fresh? Because I'm going to want one from you as well. I've been that looking for three. the Fright Check button on my character sheet for the past... It's in Secondary Attributes right under Will. Ah, I made it by the same number you you're made it fine by. You're fine, too. You it's... are also fine with I this. do not do the thing that you see in cop dramas where... They, they they kneel down in front of it, stick a finger in it, and then taste it to see what it is. Because, one, that's horrible. No one is trained to do that. And, two, cop dramas don't exist, so far as I know, in the Sith universe. I mean, they might, but also they wouldn't do that because you never know weird alien diseases you could get. You find you, them in, like, you horror dramas where they turn into a rat ghoul after they touch the blood and lick it or whatever. You, you shouldn't see that in TV dramas because there's plenty of earth diseases that you can get from doing yes, that. Yes, but people don't turn into rat ghouls when they lick blood in earth dramas. They just die. I'm going to pick up the bucket of blood. Okay. What are you doing with the bucket of blood? Putting it over top of a slightly ajar door. <laughs> no. Though it's that might be um, valid. I'm going to hold up and go, Hey, Antuxa, you you found weird ritual notes, right? Yes. Um, Antuxa makes a fright check. Is I this think. an ingredient? <laughs> <laughs> and yes, Sononi is brandishing the bucket towards her <laughs> as they ask this. It sloshes gently. <laughs> and Hooks said takes a step. Um blood Darling, is... Buckets of blood are ingredients in so many rituals I can't even begin to name them. Would you put that down, please? It's, it's fresh. Wait. It's fresh. It's sloshes. It hasn't clotted. Whose is it? My goodness I, i'm going to have to touch it aren't i well i mean possession I is nine tenths of the try. law so technically that sends blood oh no, no it's it's not you've got extra blood really you can afford to lose a try. little <laughs> it is not my blood it is not in my body and i am not putting it there it doesn't have to be in your body but you're holding it it belongs to you nevertheless it is not my Blood. Wait, if you just gained all that blood, you'd it's have to pay taxes on me. it. <laughs> that's, that's not that's not a a thing. That that I, I am like ninety percent sure not a thing. That Ren is a hundred percent sure that's not a thing, but Ren is smirking the whole time during this conversation. Yeah, that that it's not a thing. Also, are you saying you want some of this blood? No, you no, I already ate. blood for tax? No, no, I think it's time well, for right you to learn how to use that form. We can get a spoon. Anyway, the I only person here who's going to have to not touch have it. To take my glove off. Would someone please touch blood? Fine, fine, fine. Ew, it's so sticky. You missed your psychometry by four. It's so... It, it, it's It's... 
it's sticky and slimy and it starts with like finger. The is keeping the blood fresh. Yuck. That's horrifying. The bucket is... <sighs> also, I got absolutely nothing except that that was a bad idea. And that I were wing it. I got some entertainment value. Yes, so come over here so that I can... Sononi tries to put their terrible bloody fingers on and wet them on red. <laughs> can, can I try I to use the bucket? <laughs> so as you take the bucket. horrified as I am, take, take my glove off with my fingers and put my hand in the bucket. Your whole, whole hand. Oh, it's too by two. gross. Missed by two. It's missed by it two gross. It is so disgusting. Too gross, too furious. Fatigue on Yes, you can spend fatigue on that. Um, this blood is very tiring. Quickly pull up is... It, it's, it's, well, pushing past... The oh my god, this is to so terrible! Is what's tiring because what is terrible? Um, to fatigue. I believe. Doing or yeah, we're you, silenting. You beat me to it. Yep. Jim. 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 Yeah. Ooh. J just as this conversation is getting really good. <sighs> okay, I think it recovered. We shall wait up. Okay, doing it afterwards, what do I have to do? Um, two fatigue for every point of boost on, let's okay. see, for, for plus one boost. There it is. Yes. And the fatigue points will start recovering normally, not um, augmented by your usual fitness. Yes, it's... Or it's fatigue points spent for four tricks. I don't recover it at twice yep. the normal rate. Rules, house rules, homebrew rules. Well, it's okay. I've fatigue, so indeed. So you're going to um, how much are you going to spend for it? Four. Just make okay. So make it by yeah. the act. It you you have a vision of the blood being drained into the bucket from from something in the kitchen something very in the kitchen and then it's been sitting there and there's just waves of the darkness that go past it and that's messing with it somehow it's it's altered you can tell that it's altered slightly it's somehow out of time Time something traveling blood is, is not humanoid. Something feathery. something feathery is not a humanoid. Something feathery. No, an animal. Okay. Something small, anyway. I mean, it might be some kind of feathery sapien, but it'd be a small one. And that I take my hand out of the muffled. blood, set it gently down, <laughs> set it gently down on the floor, and stalk into the kitchen to find a sink. There, at first glance, are merely some pots and whatnot. Were you the one who searched? That was me. For? No. No, I think you were. Yeah. Okay, in that case, let me just grab up the kitchen. At first glance, it appears that the facilities are practically Neolithic. Wooden countertops, a small brick oven big enough for a fat, you know, chicken equivalent, and several pots. Three fresh dead fowl hang from a wire above a basin in the room's corner. A warm pot near the oven has dinner. It s smells spicy. Do I remember from when I searched this place if there is something that you can use to wash your hands in it? Yes, there. Under, it's, there's a uh, sonic sink under the countertop. Uh, you have sonic to lift it up, though. Sonic sink under the countertop. You just have to to lift it. Thank you, darling. 
No problem. <clears throat> Ah, the pleasing buzz as the little sonic waves caress your fingers and get rid of all of this horrible, coagulating, sticky, gross thing that is on your hand. Oh, God, dear force, why? 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 The things that are hanging up, dripping a bit more blood into another bucket are... They match your vision. Okay. I am... Going to take my other glove off with my teeth, take out a little bottle of hand sanitizer, sanitize my hands, and then put my gloves back on. Fair. I really hope my microphone picked up the sound of hands rubbing together as well. <laughs> so do I, because I heard that. That was perfect. So not only did you wash your oh, hands right. in, a, in a sonic sink, you then sterilized them afterwards because you don't know if those sound waves were clean or not. I don't know where they've really been, <laughs> darling. <laughs> they could have been brown notes. Those might be sound waves. Those might be sound waves from a disco. Do you think? Well, you never know. Anyway. I go planet? use the sink. It feels like any other sonic <clears throat> sink that you have messed with. Maybe that the is... goes and uses the sink because Sonone wiped their fingers off. On... <laughs> <laughs> it is at least not... Person blood. It's from those creatures on the wall. But something's been messing with it. The forest disturbances that I keep sensing from the basement. I think we should possibly do some additional investigation downstairs. May I suggest that before we do that, we um, take a moment to meditate somewhere and center ourselves? Yes, I think that's probably a good idea. I still have shivers from placing my hand in that muck. It was pretty mucky. Old dead things can be someone else's domain. Despite them being mine, apparently, this trip. So whose domain are new dead things? Oh, oh right, justice, probably. Yes, well, I mean, we are Sith, darling. I mean, if there's... You make inheritance, then there's taxes on that, and new dead things are our domain as well. But ours is not to bicker and quarrel over who's to. Anyone who's not passing here. through room three, please. Anyone passing through room three, please give me a perception roll. Oh, I'm following everybody else. <laughs> All right. I, I, I went to room three, saw the door was open, and immediately closed it. Yes, what? it was ajar. Muted. You're pretty sure that you closed the door behind you, but it was ajar. When you came back in. Oh, and I, I saw it open and I immediately closed it again. Like, hmm, someone left the door open. Wait, somebody opened the door. All right, are we taking a moment to meditate and center ourselves or are we I saw that yeah, <laughs> pursuing? We are taking a moment to center ourselves. If there's Everyone anything needing to, to be pursued outside, I'm sure the fish monsters will... Do the pursuing for us. Do I roll for meditation? Ah, meditate set. Well, Although you I... can do what you like, my friends, but I need a moment. Bran, you are just not managing to clear your mind properly. I'm too amused that I'm and the only one who didn't have to touch the blood. Clear... <laughs> we are not good at meditating. No. I need to know what's on the other side of that door. A swamp, I think. Do let us know. I've seen it. Nexu fish probably can't open doors and I keep thinking that someone's going to come in and try to stab us all so maybe I should just open this door like a tiny little bit the door opens all the way <laughs> yeah well this thing <laughs> doesn't do a tiny little bit <laughs> I am trying to peek through I, I, I love how what Beth is doing there's... is pinging the map over and over again for us. Yeah. I know you're not trying to ping there's... the map, but you are pinging the map. I saw... Oh, look! There's that Nexus fish thing. It's gotten a bit closer. I closed the door. <laughs> <laughs> Open the door. You see a horrible mutated thing. I closed the door. <laughs> I, I remember Ellie's character doing that in a game that Eric was running. 
Oh yeah. It was one of the best moments of the game. <laughs> Open the door. Nope. Close the door. What was behind there? A nope. Noping out. <laughs> so much nope. Are you going to hang out here until uh, Antuxa has gotten all of her fatigue back, or how much? Antuxa failed. Yep, Antuxa failed. Antuxa can sit there and be rattled or something. But eventually the fatigue comes back if you're sitting and rest. And things. is going to gather herself and try again to meditate. Okay. How quickly um, is the degree of failure like how many minutes we wasted? Probably. Okay. I am also going to keep trying since whatever opened the door doesn't seem to be right out there. Indeed. Is 43 AGD well, still I didn't see. There's still droids sitting over there if you go peek at it, yes. Okay. Um, while they're meditating, I'm going to go over to say hello to the droid. Uh, 43 AGD, how are you doing? Fine. Ah, fine, wonderful. Fine, 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 Not now, fine. Well, yes, I, I am aware that you are not fine. Uh, now, I know that you've had some damage to some of your memories, but there is a, a small desk drawer in a room to the southeast of here that it's locked... I was wondering if you knew where the key to that might be. Simon, Simon, Darth, Simon, Simon, study. Ah. Accessing, accessing, key, 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 key. Darth, Simon does not have the key? Has he left it in his other robes? Uh, Darth, Simon is currently not available. I do not know which robes he might have left it in, my lord. Lord, lord. Well, that is quite all right. Even though you do not know where the key might not be at this moment, you have answered several questions that I would have been asking. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Thank you, my lord, 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 lord. Thank you. I give I'm a... sorry. I keep hearing this malfunction, and <laughs> my brain is going, my lord, 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 lord. <laughs> sorry. Darth and Sith and Darth and Sith and Darth and Sith and Darth and Sith. Well, at least you two seem to be making some meditations. Well, as I thank AGD, I'm going to pat them on the head and then wonder why I patted them. The head wobbles. It's not nearly as, as well fastened as you might like. Yeah, Pat, but I, I wonder fall. not just because it's a sentiment that I don't normally give, but also because I already know this thing is not structurally sound. <laughs> Success. Meditation lets you regain one key point per minute, even fatigue spent via force use for minutes up to the of success. You must be, obviously, meditating. And you get your normal fatigue recovery as per, at the very least. For sitting and fuming to yourself in a properly sithly manner. Hey, you I don't find the force and the forces under my command. <laughs> I command the force and the forces <laughs> under my command. I command the force and the forces under my command. <laughs> you Very don't good. find inner peace, you find your inner anger. And I love how it's very digital in how we can arrange ourselves on the map because you have to snap to grid. So as I'm over here at this window in room 11, which I only went to because I remembered it had a window in it, I can uh -huh. slide across and very quickly see the lizard monster <laughs> for a split second <laughs> before... <laughs> My line of sight doesn't let me see it anymore. <laughs> like right here, I can see a narrow view off to the west. Over here, I can see a narrow view off to the east, which does not include the lizard thing. But I know where it is for the split second that I'm moving. I see it mm -hmm. right there. <laughs> but not here. And to excite. <laughs> By meditating for about 15 minutes, you'll have all of your uh, fatigue back if you want. Okay. Senoni. Senoni, you have also been meditating and grounding and centering or whatever. 
So, mm -hmm. Ren has been wandering around. And I have recovered to fatigue? Uh-huh. Yes. Okay, so I am at eight of nine. And if you wait another, if you are sitting at another ten minutes, then you will recover that as well. And I figure that after about 15 minutes, that will get you all your feedback. Yeah, that's helpful. Okay. You are all fatigued. You are all defatigued, but not indefatigable. So, while you were recovering, I took some peeks out the window. Uh, no sign of whoever opened the door, if indeed they went outside, uh, other than our fine-finned friend on the porch. There's not a soul to be seen. Also, our mechanical friend has informed me that the key to that particular desk drawer might be in the missing Darth's other robe. He probably did a robe with, like, a wardrobe and things. Indeed. We should determine whether that room is the same as um, Count Murgod's current rooms. If it is, I may ask one of the two of you to to draw him out, so to speak. Would the drawing include quartering? I don't no, want to I would quartering. be going into his quarters. It is a light to work with. Now, earlier you were suggesting checking the basement. Is that something we wish to do first? Yes. There's something down there causing quite a ruckus. We might find another bucket of blood. Sononi picks the bucket back up. We're not in the I room that the has the bucket. The forces under my command. I command the force and the forces under my command. Oh, I, I force and the, the forces under my command. The main. <laughs> you didn't leave it in the kitchen. All right. I need a token for that bucket now. Don't tempt me to make one. Please, yes. I would like a token. <laughs> There might already be a token, for, but I have to log in on my app. Oh. Yes. Let's please see what's downstairs. Let's all go together so the GM doesn't I'm complain about us splitting the party. Indeed. Okay. Deal with something. There we go. All right. All going together into the cellar, then, are you? Yes. And activate. I do not own any token with vision in this scene. I own a token with vision in this scene. I do not necessarily have you in the order of, of who went down first. You will have to decide that on your own. I am perfectly happy to be second or last. I am ha perfectly happy okay. to be first. I'm the one with military experience. I'm muted. Denone draws their lightsaber and holds it in their uh, main hand, which is the one that is not carrying a bucket of blood. You're bringing it I with you. How can I give you a light? <laughs> How can I make a light source? There really ought to be... Oh, I could have you have a light. Isn't there... Yeah, I was going to say, isn't there like a torch thing? Uh, that is an add-on. I add -on. can't actually do it to my character, but... The, oh, the torch okay. thing is an add-on that I added to the D to the D&D one. And it's not letting me join this session as a game master. Fascinating. What am I doing huh. wrong? Invalid password. Given Sinone, Sinone's token, a light attribute. And I think that they are, in fact, generating light. Oh, that's right. The thing we were playing with um, previously in the D&D &D game. Mm -hmm. We can add mm -hmm. animations, too. I'm not adding an animation right now because that would, would be okay, Funny. cool, but also distracting. And also, I'm not sure what sort of animation would work for it. But anyway, Sononi is now a light source. Possibly a muted one. Mm -hmm. You are possibly a muted light source. My light is on. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. It looks like it was out over there. Oh, there's blood on the floor. Yeah, there's blood on the floor. I should probably read the description. If, if I've got a description, I should read it, should I? Did you spill any okay. out of the bucket? No, but there does appear to be some fairly fresh blood that was on the stairs. Um, did you 
people want to make rolls anything about it, or just sort of go, oh, wow. Fresh <clears throat> blood on the stairs? Yep, that you went Watch down. You had to sort of probably dodge it a little. Can I use the heel of my boot to do psychometry? <laughs> Yes, but it's going to be at negative two. Can I slide down the railing so I don't have to touch the blood at all? That's going to be a dex roll at minus three because it's extremely narrow. Thank goodness I can not. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you want to fail the roll. By five. And no with you describing how narrow the stairs are, I'm not going to attempt to slide down the railing as fun as it would be. My reasoning is I'd probably get splintered. It's entirely possible it would, in fact, be splinters. So, make... Everyone, when you get to the bottom, please make a... of the stairs, please will roll for me. Yes, I will roll. Everyone succeed. It's very nice. Okay. When you're not actually looking at the floor... You have the strong impression that it's been hard packed. When you are looking, right. at it, it's your usual, you know, sturdy concrete floor that you see in a basement. Sinone closes their eyes and tips their head up and tries to dig in the floor with the heel of their boot. Give me. A will roll. It's a concrete floor. It's not dirt. You're quite sure. And yet the moment you stop doing that, it feels like, well, of course, it's a dirt floor. Are the, the rest of you... Hmm? How are the rest of you feeling? Yes, that's why I just tried to dig in a concrete floor with my shoe. Anyone who feels that this is worth a fright chest, feel free to roll one. No, but to my great chagrin, I am going to crouch down and place my bare hand on the floor. Things have gone across this floor. Death has gone across this floor. Things cold and <clears throat> hideous and unnatural have moved across it. And your fingers are simultaneously feeling dank, trodden earth and concrete. If anything, using the psychometry has made the impression of dirt slightly worse. It's true. What possible reason would someone have to make their floor fake dirt? I am not entirely convinced that they have. Is it in fact fake concrete? Or is it a memory of I think the dirtness is trying to assert itself. I am one with the dirt. The dirt is with me. The one with the dirt. The dirt is with me. Please do not be one with <laughs> dirt. This is a terrible place to take up. Once you travel down the dirt side of the force, forever will it dominate your destiny. Or at least your shoes. I am become pig pen, ah, destroyer of on and sense disturbances. Okay. And took set. There's, there's def it's definitely stronger down here. There's almost like a constant thrum, kind of irregular, or maybe the sound of running water that isn't a sound. It's sort of coming to your, your left, you know, to the south, but also southwest. Um, there's thing else faintly to the north north northwest well we're at this door already i try the door open oh good There's news a whole everyone bunch of shelves in here and someone has written the number 13 on the floor odd that isn't isn't that convenient it must be a clue for the gmers indeed there's some crates up in the the middle area of the thing, there's shelves. The shelves appear to have like imperial rations, you know, MREs, canned goods, bottled drinks, 
not very many of them left. There's a lamp that's on a sh- small shelf. Um, give me another will roll. These MREs, they have Hawaiian pizza MREs. I thought they discontinued these years ago. They did. They did discontinue these who's, years ago. Who's making the will roll? Everyone who is walking or looking into that room. You're all succeeding your will rolls. Also, I made okay, a Okay, there's a lamp me. that's... Ah, lamp is on a small shelf there. Uh, it's illuminating a heavy book in that corner. Um, made a search roll. There's these crates that have wines in them. They're Zyostian hutties, and hey, there's an Alderaan wine thing in there. Uh, there's bottles of them. The book appears to be a catalog of all of the stuff that's in here. And took some research. What are you researching? The book. Okay. Search and research will definitely both get you that this appears to be a low-tech thing that is supposed to be a catalog of everything that's in there. It looks like it's been kept up to date until the past, oh, about four or five months when things that have been taken out have not been noted down very reliably. You know. And let me guess, the handwriting's different. The handwriting's mostly the same. Not entirely, but mostly. Um, Oh, and with those roles, especially you, Antuxa, actually giving you like a savoir-faire or like connoisseur or whatever, Give me your your high society savoir faire. Ah. All right. You don't re- recognize these wine types. I'll use my inspiration. <laughs> I'm tempted to let you. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's a better roll. That would be a better roll. You do not re- recognize labels, but wait, a lot of the stuff that is in here. That's, you know, you remember, that's the cheap stuff. There's a lot of cheap stuff. You know, about a third of them are, okay, those look like, you know, useful things. And then there's, like, queer and blush. Two-thirds oh. of this, of the stuff is the cheapies. Oh, no. What I made the roll. You made the roll. You were I... considering having a swig. So, based I was on... considering having a bottle. <laughs> well, we don't have glasses in here, and once you open it, you don't want it to go back. Obviously, exactly, and obviously nobody's going to miss Quarum Blush. What do you mean? That's one of my favorite. Well, then you can have it. All yours, darling. Ah, I don't mind if I do, and I am just going to hold this bottle and not open it. Because you're going to hit someone with that. I might, if I need to, but I also have a lightsaber, so I might use that instead. Uh, it depends on if I want them cut in half or not. But also, I have the quirk of horrible hangovers, so mm. I'm going to to save this for a special occasion, which is when we're not in a basement. So I came up with a theory. I would love to hear it. What if Simon is the what that was wearing the amulet? I sincerely apologize, but I'm not sure I follow. Like, um, so the, uh, oh, I forgot his name already. Murgad? Um, the guy, no, no, not him. The, the guy who isn't the commander. No. Rapsa. Oh, um, yeah, Rapsa. 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 He, um, he said that it might be more of a what and less of a who that the amulet last. And the mystery start um, missing. Oh. I wasn't in the room for that. I apologize. Oh, right. Um, so kind of getting concerned here that he might have turned himself into some kind of horrible Sith spawn That's that is dreadful. now lurking around the basement. Eating, um, MREs, I guess. That's horrible. If he's a horrible monster, he's not going to be able to sign these tax forms properly. Exactly. 
I mean, maybe we can get him to write an ad. Well, might as well find him and ask him. Hey, if things... Um, if things down here aren't rustic as they want to think they are, you think the upstairs is illusionary too? No, I, I don't think any of this is particularly illusionary. Frankly, if they were making an illusionary house, they would have made the parquetry more ornate. And they would have extended it past the observable rooms. And th anyway, the fence is broken. The parquetry is poor. The silver may as well be pretty Would you want to go around trying to illusion a swamp? If I were going to illusion a swamp, it would be better than this. Right, I'm just saying I don't think we can assume that they would illusion the front yard. Because that sounds like it would involve, like, sticking your hand in the swamp. True, but they could do better than silver plate. Well, that's, that's part of the issue, though. Everything about this house is... There's modern stuff here. There's probably plasteel in the walls. But it's all a facade on top to make it look more... Rustic. I rustic? Guess. Well, yes. But if you're going to put all the effort the into... With that... I'm sorry. Please, go ahead. I did not mean to interrupt you. Well, I am very interested in hearing what the problem is because I'm throwing things against the wall to see if they stick. Uh, leave the bucket where it is, please. Uh, thank you, Sen. Uh, <laughs> oh, I made myself laugh. I shouldn't do that. Um, if you're going to put the work into making an illusionary house, why would the illusion then have an illusionary facade over top of something else they had a sonic shink uh, uh, i can speak a sonic they had a sonic sink in that kitchen that had a wood burning stove that the droid only used when no one was looking apparently according to orders this could all be an illusion but it'd be a lot of effort and that's what i'm saying if if you're going to put this kind of illusion up illusions cost effort and well, not both and a regular time. That's true. Actually, I am going to ramp up and take it with me. Okay. So we're each taking one thing. It? It's I lucked out with a bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, Sen got the short straw and has the bucket of blood. Short straw? <laughs> don't put the short straw in the bucket I'm the best one you now have your light animation and took so when you pick it up it's definitely obviously a standard you know battery power you know kind of battery it lasts for days and days probably and when you glance away from it you're obviously carrying a little oil what the no no it's it's normal it's totally normal your shirt's normal. I don't think this is an illusion. Or at I, least not an intentional one. I agree. Or at least not intentional from... I'm forming my thoughts as I say them, so I might need to backtrack a bit. It feels like the perceptions we're getting here, the, the floor in particular, that lamp now, too... It's like those memories of how things were and the area here wants it to be that way again. I agree. But the people here, well, Rapsa at least, is a real person. Or whatever is causing this illusion is very adept at adapting to mind manipulation. We know a few people who are pretty anyway. good at that. But, at the same time, no, I do not think the yes, people are Yes, we fading. do. The Count, however, I'm beginning to have my doubt. Oh, there's somebody in there. Pause a moment. You're not I'm locked headed in. that door. That door should oh, be locked. Oh, sorry. That door should that be locked. Door? It is locked. Whoops, sorry. I told that door it was locked. You should have knocked first. Well, it's locked. 
Sorry, sorry. <laughs> you try the door. The door is locked. There's a hand-carved sign on a sturdy, thick wood door that reads, For Swill Bellies. The door is locked. I knock on the door and say, Housekeeping. I For knock on the door bellies. in a recognizable... I knock on the door in a recognizable pattern. It's the equivalent, the the Star Wars equivalent of shaving a haircut. Uh oh! You hear a faint noise from beyond, as someone who is making a. You have woken me up. What the heck? Sound. Full dodge. Hmm. <laughs> No, no, you just hear that sound. Silence. Is there someone inside? What? I would, I would very much prefer not to destroy the lock. If someone inside can... I can't open the door. I'm locked in. I can see. Can I come out now? There's supposed to be a party. Father said there were parties, and there hasn't been anything since they put in here. Extraordinary. Yeah. Ron, if you Chris, would be Chris, Chris. so kind. Criff, criff, criff. <laughs> crit, 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 I think was the chant. Criff. No. What are... <laughs> oh, criff. Right. right, checking. Why? Okay. Antipsa, I missed it by Antipsa. one. That sounds like Iana. Excuse me. <laughs> it's hard to tell through the door. The voice is muffled. She does have, whoever it is there is female. And does have the tones of a um, moderately high society imperial woman. And Anna is the one with the uh, rich parents. Indeed. Sinone is going to get up against the door and go, Anna McCod, is that you? What? No. No. Why? Who's who's that? Sen, would you please step away? Fine. Ron, it's time for you to use your lightsaber. Well, if you insist. I do. Uh, made a lightsaber roll by four? Tell me what kind of attack you're doing. You can do pretty much anything because you can do this um, slowly unless you're, like, intending to be flashy here. So, you know in the first prequel where... Actually, no, I'm not going to say it that way. Um, I'm looking for where the lock is, and then I mm -hmm. take the what would be the pointy end of the lightsaber, if it had a point, mm -hmm. and just sticking mm -hmm. it straight through where the lock is to melt and or burn it away entirely. Okay. Do a damage roll. How do those things work? This is the first time we've done that. Um, 13 points of burning damage. With five damage resist. It goes through, it goes through five damage resist. It, right. Uh, def yes. Mm. It ignores yeah. five damage resistance. It, it, it has five damage resistance resistance. It's going to take you a couple moments, because that used to be a really nice lock. It really did. <clears throat> and you have to just sort of shove through. And as it starts going through and you in the whole little bit. The person on the other in other side of the door goes, "Oh my, ah, uh, hello, my lord." Aunt. Just make sure you're not standing near the door. Um, it's slow going right I'm now, not. but once once it breaks through, it's going to come through very quickly. I'm far away and over to the wall. Do you let me know if Which anything on that side starts catching on fire? The door. The door does in fact uh it opens okay. inwards so toward the room towards not the toward room. us not right not towards you towards the room okay you sever the th the lock you wiggle it around a little bit you make sure that it is not causing any problem and you can push the door open as you desire well at least thank there are you some so skills. much ron it's, it's a pleasure. I'm glad I can at least bring some skills. I push the door open and step in and fold and... <laughs> we all click on the door at the same time, so it just goes... Chunk, 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 chunk. Yes. 
I want that to. Be, I I don't want that to be canon, but I'm having this image of. Okay, we've opened the door. Slam, 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 slam. <laughs> We're just making sure. I am <laughs> now. Up to each other. <laughs> I am now having the collides with wall problem. Thank you. You're welcome. I have a suspicion. Good evening. My name understand. is Antuxa. I'm trying to go in. I'm there. the one person who's not going in. I'm just standing here in the hallway in this crossroads where I have a view of three different directions. Indeed. But there isn't a fake Iana wandering around. No, no. My name's my name's Mary. Mary, who Mary. is your father? Gayon de Bress. That is not, not someone who's supposed is to be a, here. Is that a name you recognize? No. No. Well, you might make role of Savo Fair. That de Bress is a Ziastian business family, the imperial equivalent of old money. They make um, interesting weaponry. They also make like standard ish weaponry. Love it. Wait, Marie de Bress. Yeah, please don't be too loud. I have a horrible headache. The Missing Marie de Bress. I shouldn't be that missing. I mean, I'm right How... here. Well, yes, but not to put too fine a point on it, you haven't been there. How long no. have you been here? Oh, a few days, I think. Oh. Wait, we were told about a missing Marie de Bress? No, oh, I am making this up. Okay. <laughs> Just a few days. I mean, the the transit time, of course. That that took about a week. Of course, Ms. Dubress. My name is Antuxa. I am an inquisitor of the Synth Empire. This is my associate Sen. Outside is my associate Ron. Yes, my lord. I'm sorry. I, I've, I'm sorry for not being you type. No. Ugh. You I have nothing outside. to worry about. Is this? I call him from outside in the hallway. Uh, Remember to living. hydrate, darling. I like to hydrate, but let me go uh... get you some food and water. I yes, have some hair of a dog you, here. Son. And would anyone who cared to glance around the room? Ha, yes. I got out. <laughs> yeah, you got out yourself. There's a you microwave pressure door. in one corner. All right. Grabbing bottled water or grabbing some of that queer and blush? If bottled water, bottled water. I will go. Or bottled water. Bottled water. If you wanted queer and blush, I've got the bottle right here. You know, here. it, it right occurs to me. me that the fact that I was carrying around a bucket of blood made the, um, let me get you something to eat and drink a bit less effective. Except for <laughs> where you left. I'm not but, sure I mean, she's that, aware that's... enough to see the bucket. She was not sure about what the bucket was. Perhaps she was considering whether she could barf into it. She looks rotten. And the sort of went on a bender and, well. Mari, I think I will leave you... the bucket in here for now. Valid. Is there, in fact, a chair in yes, the room? Yes, there is a chair. She's... Mari, why don't you have a seat? What? Yes, my lord. What is the last date? you remember um i got here at and she gives a date which is in fact approximately three days ago you got here on a shuttle yes i was dropped off who are you i was i was supposed to present myself to darth simon and and this is when this is when the uh, the captain had the time to go out of his way to turn it off. When were you told that you should present yourself to Darth Simon? When when I got here? No, I mean, no. I, I was... My father said I should do it. Well, when was that? Uh... Oh, let's see. This, uh, is there a week for travel time? Uh, Seven, ten days ago. 
I see. I was... uh, darling, Darth Simot has been missing for three months. We're here to investigate his absence. Oh. I mean, the father said that he'd arranged four or five months ago, I think. I see. Six? Let me see. No, no, it was it was back at the year turn. He he announced he told well didn't announce it. Obviously, he told me in confidence that he'd arranged it, and I just needed to hang on until he could make the transport arrangements. I see. And what would introducing yourself to Darth Simon gain you? Well, he's the Darth. You can't he's just... a Darth, certainly. He's the only one on the planet that I was told about. Right, but. But have you seen the planet? Unfortunately. Indeed. I get back in. <laughs> <laughs> well, darling, am I sensing any disturbances from this room? Hello? I'm pondering the answer to that. Okay. <laughs> just being sure I hadn't disconnected. No, no, just, just pondering. Mm, not precise. Okay. Um, not, not unless, are you just sort of standing over her? Yeah. Or, you know, putting a comforting hand on her shoulder or anything or what? I am not using psychometry right now. Okay. I am just using detecting disturbance. She has a horrible hangover and, and it's sort of radiating out from her a bit. And that's the oh, only okay. disturbance that you're dis detecting. Actually, yeah. I will. Take, Drink some water. Take my glove off and put it on her shoulder. Okay. Yes, Rand, give me a perception. Okay, so far nothing has come messing with Rand in the, in the crossroads. You did a psychometry. <clears throat> She's been in this room. And also, give me a roll for vibe. As you are someone in the force who has force sensitivity. Empathic vibes, IQ minus three. Yeah, I missed it by one. Okay. She's very good at projecting that she has a hangover, apparently. You you are practically getting a sympathetic one just by being this close. Sen offers the water. It's like, oh thank you. Um thank thank you. Uh peer. Blink blink. Sen, do you actually Sen have smile. glowing do you actually have glowing red eyes? Maybe. <laughs> uh, I definitely do. <laughs> yes. Well, of course, you're a pure blood. Sin is Twi'lek, you know. Yeah. She does not say my lord at Sin, but she does not act like she thinks Sin is is a servant either, and is sort of blearily tr trying to peer at what Sin is wearing. Are you still carrying around your lightsaber what, lit? Yes. For a moment, she says, "My lord, thank you, my lord." If they weren't carrying the lightsaber lit, they could Capital. have ca carrying the bucket of blood. Bucket in one hand, lightsaber in the other. The bucket I have set down so that I can carry other things like water and MREs. She is sipping the water with the expression of someone who really does not want to drink anything too quickly because she just knows that it will end up um, on the floor. undrunk. Yeah, <laughs> on the floor. The room is small. It looks rustic like everything else it has a little uh mini fresher in the corner that has like a curtain and i mean it looks like it's a really old-fashioned commode but if you poke at it you know nope not poking at it can i wait a minute and retry that mind shielding roll yes well you're going to miss it by two again apparently all right, I'm going to let other people do things because my brain is on the fritz. <laughs> or at least the dice say so. I didn't know there were any other Sith on planet except for Darth Simon. You see Darth Simon? No, no, I, I there was a, a Chiss lady and um, uniform, uniform, uh, what was his name? Oh. Uh, de, de, dim, demi, ah, uh, I can't remember. Oh, Daenerys. They Targaryen. Oh, no, Daenerys. If 
Chell. Yes, that's right. He said, call me Chell. And what happened after that? They took my luggage somewhere sent my, and we we sat down in the oh the little front dining nook uh with the windows and the view such as it was and had a chat about about what was going on when I was last on Syost and fashions and and the some races, the speeder races there, and the latest parties, and and the wine was very nice. I I suppose I drank too much, and they put me in here. I would like to go back and have, you know. I was told that that Darth Simon liked to have parties and such, and I've been down here, and I really need to present myself. Otherwise, he'll probably. I'm afraid you can't. Uh? Dark Simon's um, missing. Oh no. That. Oh. You know who Count Murgod is? I have no idea. I've never heard that name before in my life. Apparently, he's been the Sith in charge here for a few months. Oh, Father would never have sent me to some place without a Sith he didn't know. If it's been another minute, I have made my role. Ah! And what are you attempting to do with your mind shielding? Well, you said that she is almost projecting a hangover. Uh -huh. I am shielding myself against that. Indeed, that does cut it off quite nicely. Reinforcing your shields, building them up, yes, that, that's working out much better than before. How powerful does a hangover need to be to give other people a hangover by proxy? Either it's a really bad hangover or she has some sort of empathic projection ability. Or both. Be par for them. And you have horrible hangovers. Nobody who has to room with you or near you lets you drink. I assume they're just looking out for me because of how important I am. Right. And also because if you get a hangover, just so does everyone else in at least a six foot radius. Darling, um, have you been assessed by the Sith? That's why Father sent me here to be assessed by Darth Simon. I see. And how much did you have to drink the last time you were conscious? Really don't know. We were having such a nice time and I was a little tired from the trip. I had to walk through that. <sighs> yes, the muck. Yeah. The swamp. It was kind of terrible, my lord. And then I got in, and they were nice, and I they they were saying that there'd be dinner eventually, but oh, please have another drink of wine. And it was such nice wine, and the conversation was really quite good. And and Did they say anything about Dr. Simon? No, no. They they said that I didn't need to present myself immediately, and and uh I want to try something. All right. Made by seven. Healing. Healing others. Excellent. Yes, you have made it by seven, and you are removing her hangover, I presume? Yes. Oh, that feels so much better, my lord. I hoped it would. Oh, you Please are... keep drinking the water. I think I will not be touching any wine for ages. Oh. Drink. I've said that before. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry to have made such a terrible presentation of myself. I, I'm really not sure where my luggage went. It's not here. I, uh. I can hazard a guess. However, I'm very glad that we found you. So am I. I wouldn't like to be down here for too long. I'm not sure if there was anything. There's a bottle over on the little bedside table there. Oh, what are all these designs on the walls? What are these designs on the walls? Oh, give it's me a Sith for red oh. rum. I think she's had a bit too much of that. <laughs> Crit! Dukes made it up. by ten. You made it by ten. There are a whole bunch of symbols 
on <clears throat> the wall in nice orderly rows interspersed with a number of drawings that range from crude to semi-artistic that the drawings do not seem to have broken through any of the etched um, designs that you recognize, and I will give you this because it's critical success and you have other applicable skills. These are protection and warding and shielding symbols, which opening the door has perhaps broken the um, energy flow on if it was energized to start with. Oh, great. We killed her by saving her. Or something. It does indeed appear to be a bunch of wards that are supposed to be keeping things out. You are on, are on the protected side of them at the moment. They are not fresh. They they have other drawings layered on top of them. Well, it's Doodles, okay. We have a bucket squiggles. of blood. We can refresh them. Huh. Should I go get the bucket of blood? <laughs> I don't we even know the symbols the are door. there. Hmm? Yeah, you don't even know they're there. You haven't been in there. Did the damage from the lightsaber irreparably damage the wards? Give me an occultism. You don't think it is irreparable. Um, there's a hole right there that is a bit of a problem. You'd have you'd want to stop her up the hole that is where the lock used to be. Kind of where the doorknob used to be, too, you know? I'm kind of glad if, that I chose that method for opening a door and not the previous method of I'm just cutting the hinges off because what's worth doing is oh worth my- overdoing. <laughs> If you stoppered that up and scrawled a few symbols across to connect that sentence that goes across there, then the wards could go back up. Um, Even without that, you could probably be fairly warded against a number of things if you recall all the things your parents told you. Ugh. Yes. But you'd like to at least stopper up the door, the hole there to make the goat come back. Ooh, history, ancient knowledge. What are you asking? Remembering what my parents told me. Your parents told you that when you were doing rituals, you should have a bug out room or the equivalent thereof in this that is really boarded so that the ghosts that have been called up and angered don't actually come get you. Wait. Wait. You didn't meet the count. No. No, I did not meet the count. You didn't meet the count. Who did you meet? I met a chess lady and and Commander Chell Damas, I believe. Damas, yes. The chiss and the commander. Nobody else. No one else. I came late. Sen, Sen, Mm -hmm. I need something to plug this hole. And uh, chalk, a piece of chalk. Um, Or or something to write with. I might have something. I'm just going to go steal a cork. As quickly as possible. I'm going to go get a cork from that room. Oh, here's a bottle. Okay, that's right. I I move over and I I hand the bottle through the door. But I'm still staying in the hallway. Oh, good. Ha, I got this, through uh, the door. The ah. park will do. Uh, I hand the bottle back. Give I look me at the a perception roll on uncorking it. If you're taking the cork and, and handing the rest of the bottle there. Just made it. It smells vile when you uncork that thing. Absolutely vile. It smells like someone... It doesn't even smell like sour wine. It smells like vomit. Ooh. Ron, there are horrors in that bottle. Don't drink it. Fortunately for me, my quirk is that I get horrible hangovers. Not that I like to drink. <laughs> I'm just Mr. going Brass, to set please this... stay. I'm just going Mr. to Mr. Brass, please stay heart. in this room until until one of us comes to get you. Is there a problem? There very may. There very well may be. All right. However. You should not be involved in it. And staying in the room means I'm not involved. Staying in the room means you are protected 
from whatever happens outside. If you say so. I do. All right. I'll stay in here. I am an inquisitor of the Sith and heir to ancient knowledge, and I swear to you that you will be protected if you are in this room, but only if you stay here. Okay. And Sinone gives her the MRE. Oh, thank you. Good. Yay. Adventure. She sits down. She stays sitting. It's going to be all right. Somehow. All right. I don't suppose anyone's got a data pad? Yes. Here, take mine. Thank you. At least I'll have something to read. If you find mine and, and it's safe, you could bring me mine? Of course. Thanks. I have pulled a piece of chalk out of some pouch and have re-scrawled the protective wards, including on the piece of cork, if necessary. I'm going to use that as a... Wedge that in the hole and... Okay, it's not going to actually fill the whole, entire hole. You'd need more pieces of cork, but you can at least connect up the lines so that exactly. when you close that door... Yeah, your wards will be closed. Exactly. Pull the door closed, shove the cork in, hope for the best. Push her into it. I am Which... tempted hmm? once this is resolved and... Oh, and Tuxa mm -hmm. has come out. Wonderful. I'm tempted to hand the bottle of vomit to Antuxa and say, this seems to be your specialty and unfortunately lot in life. Do you want to know where this came from? <laughs> I don't say that. But I'm tempted to. <laughs> what an amazing that's, that's smell so you've bad. given me. Given you, you're the one who handed me the bottle. Sonone pokes the bottle to no avail. They have not made a single psychometry roll since this began. Yes, well, well, of course, you were poking it through the it's glass. It's not your specialty. Nantuxa also fails. The bottle, Thank no one wants goodness. to know. <laughs> yes, no one wants to know anything about but it does smell vile inside. I'll just put this back with the other horrors, shall I? I go when I set it next to the bucket of blood. I... Yes, please. I think we need to open more bottles. I think we don't need to open any more bottles. I want to know if they're all like that. Some knowledge is best not dealt. You know, the sphere of mysteries <laughs> has a good point now and then. Some things are best not known by others. Like... So, what, Simon is saving the galaxy from evil wine? <laughs> no. Saving the galaxy from evil whatever is in that bottle. It's not wine. Well, it was supposed to be wine. At some point, there may have been wine in it. That's not it. Trust me, I have sampled a lot of variety. I am going to open one of the bottles of fancy stuff. Okay, you do that. I am going to sniff it. It smells like blood. And I think I should probably just end on that, because that's a good point to end. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, oh. I have one more thing to say. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how to start it. All right. We don't open that door again until we're done here. That room has a protective ward on it, and Sko Nialalis and Cheldamas put her in there. To protect her from whatever's going on here. They know more than they're saying. And once we get done with this basement, it's time to have a chat with them. News, everyone. I found more blood. Oh, excellent. <laughs> and let's end off with that. Thank you, everyone, for playing. And thank you, everyone, for listening. This has been an absolutely delightful time with Crash and Eo and Ellie. And, oh, did I ever introduce myself? Who cares? You probably know who I am. It's so, Beth. should we plug some things? Yes. <laughs> You're Eo's mom. Uh-huh. And Eo's mom writes and books. There's something you do. There's something you do, and I can't remember what it is. <laughs> something about books. At elizabeth-mccoy.com. Or one of these days, even without the dash. And yes. speaking of 
dashes or last lack of dashes, I guess. Um, well, ours doesn't have any dashes, but you can get all of these episodes at ironbsmith.com slash cogwheel. So there's this wonderful GURPS Wars thing with the this episode three of the Halloween special going live in early February. So yay. Don't question the time. It's wobbly anyway. The increasingly inaccurately named Halloween one-shot. <laughs> we keep it going long enough. We're early for next Halloween. Technically, we already yeah. are early for next Halloween. Very early. We, our Halloween special not... for 2024 went out before <laughs> anyone else's. <laughs> and to be clear, that is not Aaron-B-Smith.com. Oh, please repeat, no. repeat, that is not Aaron-B-Smith.com. <laughs> Aaron Smith no was dashes. taken. I had to put the middle initial in there. Uh, but if you really like these and you want to help us break even, you can become a Patreon patron. Uh, Patreon.com slash Gaming to help us keep the lights on, along with Ellie, Shen Shen, Walter, and patron emeritus, Cindy. And until next time... Until next this time... This is Beth saying... <laughs> and this one is blood, and this one is blood, and this one is blood, and this one is bile, and this one is bile... Were these bottled in a bio- in an abattoir? biotics lab? <laughs> <laughs> yes, were these bottled in an abattoir? Good 99 night, bottles everyone. of blood on the wall. 99 bottles of blood. 99 Take bottles one of down, blood. pass it around, no. and no. Oh, pass no. it around. So, no. inexplicably, 99 <laughs> bottles of blood on the wall. Stick I'm your finger in it, tell me where it's this. from. <laughs> You don't have to drink it. Just stick your finger Good in it. Tell me where it's from. <laughs> I don't have that ability. I do not. I do not want to do that. Thank you. <laughs> Good night, everyone. <laughs> You're, all, You're all glorious. You're all glorious. <laughs> 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 <laughs>